what's up YouTube so today we're gonna do a comparison on the Carhartt rugged flex 8 inch and the Timberland Pro boondock 6 inch so they both have the polymer toe um, with my job it's kind of required uh, and I kick stuff I kick a lot of stuff so it saves my toes um, this was the first pair I I've been wearing work boots for over 20 years uh, but I bought this pair back in 2019 and they lasted me just about a year before they started squeaking and that's really why I ended up getting another pair. Um, but they started squeaking. And it's quite annoying. Um, they were good boots. Um, I have an injury to where I can't always pick my leg up all the way. So I end up dragging the heel sometimes. So I'm very hard. On the heels of my boots as you see uh, but these I paid I believe a hundred and fifty dollars for and they was also on sale at that time too uh, they was very comfortable very comfortable um, they're not very heavy for being six inch or for being eight inch boots um like i said i had i had to get a new pair once they started squeaking i dealt with it for about a week and it drove me crazy uh, these are the original shoelaces they held up really well like i said it's only a year's worth of use on these they had a really comfortable insole i actually took them out when I wore the insole out of them. And uh like I said, 140 and they lasted me a year. On to these. You know, say hi Mowgli. Say hi. Hi Joe. That's one of my beautiful children. That's who I go to work for every day. So these are the Timberland Pro Rug or er, uh, Boondocks, excuse me. These are very heavy boots, and they're only the six inch. Uh, but I really like these boots. Uh, man, they have. I've had these for two and a half years. I think I paid two hundred for these, and. They have lasted. Uh, like I said, I'm very hard on the heels. Um, these ain't squeaking. I think I heard a squeak out of them a week ago. But it's not consistent. And I think it's just every now and then. Um, but the heels, as you see, um, I'm very hard on my heels. Let's see if you can, can get a better the tread everywhere else I mean has worn really good for two and a half years the boots themselves are I mean still really good usable boots um, one thing like I said that I and very hard on the heels of my boots. So this is what all of my insoles end up doing. These I had to buy not too long ago, really. Because I wore the ones that I put, took out of them and put in these. Wore them out. Wore the ones that came in these out. We'll set that to the side. Um, these are really good work boots. They're heavy. Um, if you could deal with the weight. Um, I paid 
two hundred dollars for them, and they're still going. If you're not as hard on your heels as I am, they'll last you even longer. Uh, I'm walking on on ceiling rafters. I'm walking on floor joists. Um, we're digging up drainage pipe. Um, we're out there in the winter time shoveling and throwing salt. Um, so these have been two, two, three winters with salt. If y'all know how hard salt and stuff is on, on boots. And for them not to be tearing apart. Um, I mean, these, these I, I really like these. These, um... 150 um if they was mm, 110 120 dollars i might consider buying them again these right here um like i said i've been wearing boots for work boots for 20 years i wear them all day long when i come home i don't take them off i'm doing stuff around the house and He's doing a little bit of extra running, going to the store, and I don't get my work boots off till 8, 9, 11 o'clock at night. And that's after being at work, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I like these boots so much. I bought them again. Um, I'm going to try to wear these out some more. Um... I got these, found these on sale, so I didn't quite pay the 200 that I paid for them. So I had to jump on them, and when the time comes, I'll wear them. You see the tread that them had on it, and had on the back. And just for a comparison on that, you can, you can see the, and that's where that gray, it's coming through right there. This is like a foam. And they're they're fairly comfortable. They're really heavy. But I do like them so much that like I said, I did buy another pair. <laughs> um, if you could deal with the weight, then I suggest then if you're in any type of heavy 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 trade um i don't know about mechanics um uh, something a little lighter weight um uh, but construction uh outdoors uh um grounds work you know things where you really have to have some good tread on your boots and uh they do keep your feet pretty warm in the winter um, that's why I don't wear a steel toe, but the carbon toe, uh, because that steel will freeze your toes in the winter time. Um, but I still need that protection. Um, things to think about with buying boots. Um, I wore Kmart, Walmart, um, Payless boots, uh, for 10 12 15 years and uh they lasted sometimes six months i mean if you really push them you get them to last a year but they weren't comfortable um and you end up having to buy them buy more um and then they're all the prices are going up so much that they're almost the price of some of these Think about it, people. If you spend $200 on a pair of boots and they last you for three, three and a half, four years, if you really push it, well, you go out and you spend $60 on a pair of boots every six months because they fell apart because they can't handle that type of work you do the environments the grease the degreasers the soaps the the water the sewage the 
the cuts. I got this right here. I mean, this is... That's a pretty deep cut. That it went right through a pair of Walmart boots. So, uh, that was a, a lag bolt hanging out of a floor joist. So, yeah, these are really great boots. These are good boots, too. Um, the outsole, it, it feels feels a little harder on the Carhartts. Um, it wore a lot faster. You buy a good pair of boots, they'll last you a lot longer. They'll, save, they'll cost you a little more money up front, but you will save. Um, that's it. There will be more to come. Um, tools, tool bags. Um, the tools I use for my job. Um, maybe a few videos from work. But uh, I just want to give you all my thoughts on some good work boots. So y'all go out there, you spend your money wisely. Um, like I said, both pairs are good boots. The Boondocks from Timberland Pro, I think, are better. Are they the best out there? No. Um, but for that price, yeah, I do. I do think they are the best out there for a $200 boot. Um, but until then, till next time, uh, we'll bring you some more, uh, tradesmen, some work related videos, um, maybe some more. There's another one of my up, beautiful, Kevin? beautiful children. The reason I go to work every day. Um, uh, with that said, um, uh, please go to work, um, uh, work hard and, uh, do the job like you would want it done on your house, on your vehicle, um, whatever your trade is, your yard, you know, if you're out there cutting grass, um, cut that yard like it's your own, if you're fixing a car, don't forget that bolt, put every bolt on there, and, and turn every wrench, you know, to the torque specs that it should be, um, if you're building a house, if make it square if you're doing drywall bed that tape right whatever you're doing do it to the best of your ability bring the trades back and uh thank you for watching uh like share and subscribe and we thank you